what's up everybody welcome and welcome back to the channel 2019 marks the first year that I've ever made a vision board I've never even thought of making one before this year here's the vision board that I created for 2019 so this is she Prior to the new year, everybody was just telling me, You should make a vision board. You know the importance of making a vision board? I even had a friend that threw a vision board party, and I've never even heard of that, but vision board was just a reoccurring topic of conversation all of a sudden. So it was already on my brain that I should make one. And on Christmas Day, right before 2019, I was gifted this board it was supposed to be a notepad like this one behind me it was supposed to be like a hanging notepad but in a frame i guess to hold pictures but i took all of those little pins out and i created my vision board in it instead this year was the year to make my visions plain and to write down my goals and my purpose for the future so that's why I made my vision board and I do see myself continuing to make one yearly or just adding on to this one that I already have. So I'm excited about that. Creating my vision board was pretty simple. I am very, what's another word for cheap? I used a bunch of copy paper and I literally taped copy paper together to create the poster underneath my pictures. And I just taped my poster onto the board so that I could reuse this board as many times as I need to. So I literally lined up four pieces of copy paper, taped them together and cut off the excess. And that is what's underneath my pictures here. I got these nice photos off of Pinterest and Instagram. If you're mentally planning your vision board for 2020, you could start saving a separate album for your vision board. All you have to do is screenshot the photo, crop it, and then find a way to get it onto your computer. And on Pinterest, all you had to do was right click the photo and save it to your files, save it as. I put all my pictures onto a Word document, sized them the way I wanted them to be sized and printed them at Staples and that cost me less than a dollar so this whole board was pretty cheaply made but I love it and I wouldn't have it any other way. So starting in this corner as you can see it features some beautiful natural headed queens and in the middle it says Fro Overflow which is the name of my channel and my brands. This corner I really emphasize how epic I want my fro and my channel to be. I have some makeup skills and that's definitely a goal of mine now because if I'm going to take my platform seriously and if I'm going to be in front of the camera as much as I want to be then I need to learn how to do my face. Not an everyday thing, but it's just something that I'm gonna need to know how to do. And I did actually take a step in learning. I took a makeup class just last month or two months ago. And it didn't click yet. I still don't think I have the skill, but baby steps. And I'm, I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna get there. A lot of my vision board is a lot of my interpretations of these photos. So people might look at pictures like this one and be like, what it what is that supposed to mean <laughs> like why is the girl just standing there but this photo represents clarity and then back up here as you can see your girl's trying to get fit like i'm trying to get in shape and make exercise my normal routine this one is another one that's up for interpretation people might be confused as to why it's here but this represents sisterhood i've prayed for a long time for godly friends in general so Sisterhood is what I'm after. Below that represents vacation. And if you follow me or if you are subscribed and watched my last few videos, you would see that I went on three trips this summer alone. So that is crazy. That's insane because I've never done that before. But that one's definitely fulfilled. Next I have the spiritual gift of speaking in tongues and this one's obviously between me and God alone but I wanted to put it on my board so that I could remind myself daily that I need to be focused on relationship with God and I think that's just one of the most beautiful things that God allows us to be able to do is just to speak in 
untold languages and have the devil not understand what you're praying for and to physically hear the spirit praying for you it's just beautiful so long story short that's why spirit of tongues is definitely on my vision board and right here i have write down your goals and that goes hand in hand with journaling that i have on this corner i have internship and volunteering i made this in the beginning of 2019 remember that so one of the spring classes i had required us to do volunteer work with a nonprofit of our choice so I ended up volunteering that semester after I made this board so this one was definitely fulfilled internship I know will be fulfilled because it's a requirement for graduation this whole area right here represents studying the word studying my academic books and just reading books in general and then I have word over world which is something that I'm really trying to lock in on 2019 and beyond I need to get into my word, I need to learn my verses, I need to use them as weapons and be able to teach them to other people. This one is another one that could confuse people but it was just my interpretation. This one represents me and God connecting. Down here I have a little quote that says, the only cure I have ever known for fear and doubt and loneliness is an immense love of self. And I just love that quote because those three things are three things that I have struggled with growing up. So that quote right there is for me. Down in this area, I just have a bunch of elephants. Yeah, I'm confused too, but I really do want to meet an elephant in real life. I don't know if it'll happen in the near future, but I know I will meet one eventually. So yeah, I put that on my vision board. Down here I have the real glow up was never external. Just being a teenager in general, you just focus on external features and you focus on other people's words over internal growth and who you are on the inside. Right here features the girl who is working. She looks like she just got off work and she is placing money in a jar. The jar with the most money is dedicated to her dreams. And then the jar with very little money has shopping and weekends written on them. This one's still a work in progress, but it's gotten better than what it used to be. So once again, baby steps. Up here, it's a cookbook. I kind of was throwing a little hint at God by choosing this particular cookbook. It's called The Complete Cooking for Two, if you know what I mean. I didn't end up ordering this cookbook, but I did order a cookbook this year. Haven't put it to use yet, but the fact that I ordered one is holding me accountable to use it one day so that one is semi fulfilled and lastly i have a girl graduating i covered her face because you know it's weird but i put class of 2020 i made this like i said the beginning of 2019 and a month later i met with my advisor not knowing when i was intended to graduate and she let me know that if i take three classes a semester that i will graduate in the fall of 2020 so the very end of 2020 I should be graduating with my bachelor's. I just pray that I could do the work to back that up, but the fact that she said that after I made this board without even knowing when I was gonna graduate is crazy to me. But that's my vision board. And that's the end of this video. If you made it this far, give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a comment, talk to me, and I'ma just catch you in the next video. Thing, pink, ring, black thing.